this big poo. We're in the bull's nest. Whoa. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Working on something quite exciting for all of you. I did read every single message and I've got an answer for you. <laughs> hey, welcome to another episode, guys. Matt and I were out in the middle of the desert right now. Took the rigs out, off-roaded quite a ways to get here. All right, the van's a two-wheel drive, so <laughs> I'm actually amazed that it made it in this far. We've been camping for a couple of days, We're making a little bit of breakfast right now. Some sausage, onion, some egg going in. Oh man. It's really cold, guys. It's really, really cold. It's like 20 degrees. I had a heater in the van for last night and uh, Matt had no heater. <laughs> Thank the... God for truck campers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, truck campers. <laughs> it's actually like the bed of his truck is built out for like, uh, tools and stuff because he's a contractor but uh, right now he kind of put a little bed into the center there and uh, obviously this here is the northwest fishing secrets camper van well you guys know it all right it's a little bit of a mess right now got a uh ooh, gotta watch out got a big old um a jackery 1000 uh, battery pack charging my phone right now uh, we'll talk about that actually jackery was super kind hooked me up uh, with a Jackery 1000 system with a couple solar panels. So uh, I've got the solar panels hidden away down there. But yeah, we were nice and toasty because uh, I have a little Mr. Buddy heater that I was able to plug into the big propane tank last night. I'm glad you were nice and toasty in there last night. Uh, it was. I bet that Mr. Buddy was nice. I don't feel guilty. I do not feel <laughs> guilty at all. <laughs> Matt, he has a deer uh, tag for archery. So he's gonna try and shoot one with bow and arrow. We've been here for a couple days and just haven't, uh, didn't really film a whole lot of the hunt itself. Uh, we got up really early this morning at probably 5.30 a.m. and uh, hunted until probably about eight. Everything's super frosty. Look at that. <laughs> Everything's frozen. We caught a couple trout already yesterday, day before yesterday. Cooked them up here at the fire, it's just amazing. And, uh, but we didn't have cameras running then. That was just like us just, just having fun. Uh, which brings me to, uh, buying the land. That's something I know a lot of you guys have been asking about, like what's happening there. Uh, it's one of the reasons I've been like super busy and haven't been able to get a whole lot of videos out lately. It's, it, it, it's probably going to happen guys. It's probably going to happen. It's where we're at right now. The sellers were kind enough to let us spend a weekend here. Just kind of try out the land, see how we like it, see how well it hunts, see how it fishes and shoots. So far, so good. Oh, dude, I'm excited to get out and do some shooting. I'm excited to do a little shooting? Yeah. I'm excited to do a little trout fishing. And trout fishing. Yeah, I know. I'm really excited to go trout fishing too. So that's something you guys probably don't know about me that much is like, I love fishing. I just love all, everything outdoors and stuff. You guys know that, but, uh, but I, I do really like target shooting too. So each of these panels here have these little flip out feet. Each panel has a wire that comes out here and you could charge uh, this unit right there with one wire. See, I noticed there's a little bit of power coming in. Uh, but in, then it's got this thing here where you can connect two of these uh, solar panels and then plug this guy in there. So let's go ahead and connect the other solar panel real quick and we can see if we can get anything out of this cloudy sky. <laughs> Probably not a whole lot, uh, but I'll tell you guys about how it worked yesterday in the sun. I made a quick Instagram post where I showed us using it uh, and in the sun we were pulling about geez I think we were getting about 140 watts from uh, the two panels which is really really good that'll essentially charge a 1000 uh, watt hour battery in like what 
seven hours, seven or eight hours or something, which is really good. I need to charge batteries all the time, my phone all the time, and I need to have my laptop also uh, to edit and stuff. So that's why I need the 110 power. Uh, it's also got like USB outlets, cigarette lighter, and all kinds of good stuff. Even got a built-in flashlight, I think. There you go, yeah. So in case any of you guys have thought about getting a solar system, I'll drop some links below to the Jackery system. They're running a good sale here through Christmas as well. Just show them the cow bed. The cow bed? Oh, oh, the cow. <laughs> There's signs of deer, elk, all sorts of birds, coyotes, you, who knows what R rabbits we saw a rabbit yesterday but then there's also signs of a massive cow like just a cow cow like a bull that's a cow poop there for sure looks like, i don't know what he's doing do you guys know why like big bulls or cows would come in and like go down at the base of the sagebrush are they eating something in there or is that where he lays down or something we're in the bull's nest <laughs> Big old, I mean, I can fit in here easily. So I bet you anything that this was a spot where he would lay down and kind of, kind of hide from everything. How are those eggs looking? Ooh. It's looking really good. Man, look at that sandwich. Mmm. water containers here. Listen to this. Thank you, sir. Absolutely. I made us a bunch of uh, match ammo. What would you say, 200 yards? What was the group about? 200, the group was maybe an inch and a half. Right, so we'll see how those do at longer ranges today. Do a little bit of science. When we come back, we should eat this orange. You've had that the whole time. Yeah. Dude, I've had apples in here. We could have made a little fruit salad or something. Someone in the comments is going to be like, shoot the orange at 500 <laughs> yards away. <laughs> oh. That's a waste oh. of food, man. I can't yeah, waste, waste food. food. I just That's always feel so food. bad. It, it was like really cool, but that yeah, oh, a be. waste. <laughs> We'd hit it. We'd hit it. Just... <laughs> just... All right, we're going to start packing up our gear and uh, head up north. To the cliffs. There should be dramatic music right there. The cliffs. There definitely should be dramatic music right there. <laughs> Big poo. Oh, I mean, look at the size of that. That's a massive poo pile. <laughs> look at that. I'm a size 12 foot right here. So it's about half of my foot. Those things are everywhere here. So I, I don't know. Tell me what that is. Uh, also, very interesting. Over here yesterday, we saw a small rabbit. So we put up a trail cam. <laughs> First trail cam posted on the property. And uh, so let me go ahead and just roll in the footage right now. We'll take a look at what that little guy is. Maybe you guys can give him a name. He'll be our pet rabbit. We're not gonna hunt him. He can live there in peace. Yeah, this is a heavily trafficked area. Look at that, you can actually see, you can see a path. We even got coyote tracks right here. Some coyote tracks. Oh yeah, little, Yeah, these guys we've got some little here. paws. Think there's something here? Yeah, oh, that dude, that looks totally fresh, man. We're walking that way. That's a deer. So that's the thing is I did not grow up hunting. I grew up fishing. So hunting is still just so new to me. So much to learn.
right, so this is where we're gonna set up our uh, firing location. And uh, way down there in the valley, we got a couple of targets set up already. So we're just gonna just do a little target practice, you know? That's the cool thing. Yeah, I'm just fortunate where I live that we can do that kind of stuff. And uh, that's why I think we should, I think we should go ahead and get this land because this is be pretty darn cool to be able to do this every day. I bet you I could. <laughs> Give me 10 shots, I'll put it on. 10 shots? 10 shots, I'll put it on. To hit the tanks at 300 to hit, yards. To hit the tank at 300, I'll, 10, 10 shots. <laughs> With a 22 long <laughs> rifle at 300 yards, hitting a tank this big, a little cylinder, like a little tiny propane tank. <laughs> all right, this isn't like gonna be a gun channel or anything. I just, you know, share all the stuff I like doing with you guys. You know, that's 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 it. We're an outdoor channel. I don't want to like label stuff, you know. Oh, whoa, there's like a rodent tooth here. Yeah, it's like a rat tooth or a mouse tooth or something. <laughs> Maybe a rabbit tooth. You guys can tell me. Well, hopefully, I mean, if we get a solid hit, it should make a nice amount of noise. It's actually me in the background just clanking a couple cans together. <laughs> All right, here goes nothing, guys. So there's two targets down there. We're going to go for the one on the right. Long cylinder, maybe three inches wide, ten inches tall. No wind. Got him. Nailed him. You went, you were pretty low. You went straight through the bottom. Oh, did that go through the bottom yeah, of him again? like an inch up. That was a good shot, man. <laughs> that was a very good shot. Where are you aiming at? I'm going for the one on the right. The, of the 300 yard targets? Yeah. How high up are you aiming? Uh, I'm aiming pretty high. But the problem is I can't actually see on impact, period. Yeah, cause it, it's occurring like at the bottom of your scope. 300 yards is really far for a 22. Oh, you're going to? We're no, just gonna... I'm just, I'm gonna spot for you. Oh, got him. I'm... <laughs> that, was no, that, that was number nine. <laughs> That's insane. That's crazy. Matt just hit the... Uh, <laughs> the the right tank <laughs> at 300 yards with the 22. Nine shots. So I guess you did I do said, it within 10. I said in 10. All right, I'm going to go for the one on the left now. Whoa. Oh my goodness. I think you blew it up. The the paint splattered off of it. Oh my It just like goodness. vaporized the paint off of that can. Oh, 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 oh nice. <laughs> well, not taking a second shot at that one. He's down. <laughs> See if we got anything. <laughs> Oh, how funny. So you did hit it with the 22. Yeah, not bad. Not bad, yeah. That's what, five shots with the 223, 200 yards. Not bad, about, yeah, inch, inch and a half group. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, geez, look at that. So, okay, yeah, so we've been hitting that one on the bottom. Well, even when I aimed pretty high, we still hit low. So I was aiming here and it's still hitting down there. This one here, that's probably when I aimed here, it hit here. So we're just, yeah, we just got to aim a little higher. Crazy. Man, look at that. That's some thick steel. Very thick steel. You see the camera? Oh yeah, true. <laughs> Way back there. That's where we're shooting from. Guys, we're in the valley and there is just activity everywhere look at all of this poop it's just everywhere all over the place it's there 
there, 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 there. Poop all over the place. And you can see stuff has been walking around trying to see some tracks. Look at this, it's just all over. Old and fresh. Something hangs out down here and spends a lot of time pooping. Hey, that's a poo, uh, a cow poo. It's a cow pie. Is there any other animal besides like a cow that lays big old patties like that? Dude, what if there's velociraptors? We're not getting out of here if that's the case. You only have to be faster than me. Just faster than that. <laughs> Except I'm wearing the backpack. The lucky pack. Oh, there. Look at that, more poop. It's like a little bit of froth on the ground, something like a giant pile of snow. <laughs> yeah, there's still snow. Whoa, 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 dude. Look right in front of us. A skeleton. Oh my goodness, that's a, that's a big animal. Whoa. Dude. Well, I think we found the cow. <laughs> we might have found the cow. <laughs> oh my. What? That. That looks relatively fresh. Wow, that thing's been picked clean. Very clean. Look at uh, the hooves. Th that's exactly the, uh, that's the same uh, pattern yeah. that we've been seeing everywhere. Oh yeah, this thing has been worked on. Jeez. I mean, look at that. Even the cartilage in between the, uh, I mean, everything. You can just see little gnaw marks. What is that? That so that's a bull, right? Yeah. What I want to know is did this guy get killed or did he die and then get eaten? Man, they look like recently gnawed on though. Like that's they're darker than the rest. I feel like this has been like this might have gotten chewed on last night. Sorry, buddy. I hope that uh, whatever happened that it went quick for you. That's uh, part of nature, guys. And that's the thing to remember, you know, even predators, if they're, you know, feeding on animals, they're feeding their little babies, their families, they belong here too, so that's crazy. All right, guys, we're at a different spot right now. We're down at the river, and I have something very special to tell you. It's beautiful here, man. Now, I know we never got any fishing done in this episode. We wanted to film uh, some fishing after the shooting session. Problem is it gets dark at like 4.30 p.m. It's pitch black right now, so it's just kind of hard to like fit enough stuff into one day to get content for you guys. Uh, I've also been really busy working on something quite exciting for all of you. So let me, I've got it with me. I've got it with me. I want to show you what I've been working on. Uh, these are like the two most requested things that you guys have ever asked for. I see it on Instagram all the time you guys have been asking me. I see it in the YouTube comments all the time. Uh, even though I haven't been able to get back to everyone, I did read every single message and I've got an answer for you. It's right here. Right here, baby, just in time for Christmas. It smells a little bit like dead fish here everywhere. There's dead salmon laying around here somewhere. Number one is where do I get? A bullet lure! <laughs> oh, <it> dropped him. <laughs> there we go, baby. We'll open that in one second. But the bullet lure would not be complete without the Danish sea salt. <laughs> there we go, baby. It's the real deal. There's a couple little more surprises in here that I'm not going to show you right now. You'll have to order the box to find out what is inside. Also, before we open the bullet lure, I just wanted to mention to you guys that the entire packaging, when you guys pull it out, uh, is fully compostable. These are wood shavings and uh, the box is just made of cardboard. There's no plastic tape or anything. Oh, there she is. She's so shiny. She's so shiny in there. There we go. There she is. Hand tied 
by myself, I came up with the final version. It's the 25 ACP bullet lure, and this little guy spins beautifully, even at slow speeds. It's caught lots of trout uh, and all sorts of other species, perfect for ice fishing, whatever you guys want to use it with. Um, so just make sure that if you guys buy one of these boxes, you gotta share on Instagram what you guys are catching uh, with these bullet lures. I'd love to see some pictures and repost some stuff. Now, a couple things I did just want to mention is one, since these are handmade by myself, I've only got 100 of them. It's going to be a super limited batch, so when they're gone, they're gone. So hurry over uh, to nwfishingsecrets.com uh, to pick yourselves up an NW Fishing Secrets care package. Um, I made sure that we got free shipping on there. For right now, it's only going to be in the United States. Um, I want to make sure that we get international shipping as soon as possible. I just need to figure out, like, I want to make sure that this is like legal in other countries because I know in the US this is totally fine. All 50 states, Hawaii and Alaska, you guys are included too. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just want to make sure no one gets in trouble, <laughs> you know, if I ship this to countries where this might not be as, as cool. You know? <laughs> Anyways, I just want to say Merry Christmas to you guys uh, and thank you for an amazing year. Uh, 2021 is going to be completely pumped as well. Uh, we're going to go on some crazy fishing adventures together. I've already got some just absolutely amazing things planned for this channel as well as I have a few episodes filmed that I've been saving for you guys for this winter that I never published so they're gonna come out soon too that being said I love all you guys we will see all of you for the next fishing adventure and until then you all know it fish on baby